Good everybody. Happy Sabbath. It is definitely good to be in the house of the Lord with you this morning. And so we are here to sing praises to God. Sing praises. Happy Sabbath again, Sabbath School. This morning, we are focusing on a special theme. And if we are keeping up with our, our notices from the Central Jamaica Conference, we know that we are here this morning for what? We are here for what? Exactly. And my campers can tell us the theme that we are working with, which is what? Huh? I'm not hearing you. What is our theme for this morning? Yo, and what does yo mean? We are simply focusing on youth of worth positioned with a purpose. Youth of worth positioned with a purpose. I am Sister Donya Gordon, and with me is Sister Shakira Robinson and we represent the Clarendon Adventist Youth Federation. We realize that further on in the chapter, if you know the book of Jeremiah well, you would realize that he's called the weeping prophet. And as a result of that, the fact that he was called the weeping prophet is the fact that he was a heartbroken prophet, one that had a message to, to tell to the world. And so the first time when he was called, he, the first thing he said was, I cannot speak, I am but a child. But then God allowed him, I, I let him know that, listen, before I form you in the womb, I know you. And so young people, God is saying to us, you may feel as though you don't know your worth or you don't know your true purpose. But God is saying, before he formed you in the belly, he know you and he has ordained you to be what he wants you to be. So whatever our purpose is in life, God would have ordained it. It is not by accident or it is not not something that just come up just like that but God would have already ordained it hello and happy Sabbath everyone my name is Daniel Taylor and I'm from the Central St. Catherine region and I have been this year's host for the 2022 St. Conyuca summer camp the virtual edition and I am absolutely and immensely happy to welcome you to service here at the Maypen SDA Church. Now, I am not a member of this church, so I also want to welcome the members of this church back into the house of God, back in here worshiping and fellowshipping with us today as we are having our Sabbath service. We are glad that you have opened your house of worship and of praise to each and every one of us here. I would like to acknowledge Pastor Carr, the elders of the church, and the members. You have made this experience so far wonderful, and I'm expecting straight into this evening that it will be just the same. Let us reflect on today and give thanks to the Lord our God. The passage Psalms 100 verse 4 to 5 says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generation so I want us to lift our voices in praise and thanksgiving let me see all our camp members here just wave your hands so that the church members can see that you're joining here with us today all campers campers must wave a hand wonderful 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 we're glad you were able to make it down and to those who are joining us virtually also welcome we are gonna lead straight into our divine hour or worship session with our praise team who will lift their voices in praise and thanksgiving to our Lord God and I invite you to do the same have a blessed rest of your day
Why am I even here? Am I here at church because I have no option? Am I here because if I'm not here, people will be upset? Am I here at church because I have responsibilities? Or am I here because this is all I know? And whilst I'm here at church, why do I stay here? When so many persons have left the church, why do I stay here at church when members do not exemplify what it means to be a Christian? Why do I stay at church when church sometimes is not meeting my need? For those online, why am I here? When the lockdown came and persons did not see me and not even a call. Also, what is my condition that I'm here? Am I present in body but absent in mind? Am I just logged on to YouTube while it's being played in the background? I am doing something else. Am I frustrated because of the things that I am seeing? Whilst I am here, am I annoyed every time that person goes up to speak because I know what they have done to me? Why am I here? And why should I continue to be here? But in good times and bad times, God is still good. Amen? Boy, that amen, that sounds very weaky, weaky. In good times and bad times, our God is still a good God because he is just and he is fair. And we have to give him thanks in spite of our situation. Yes, my friends, we may be financially embarrassed and physically weak. But remember today that there is a burden bearer. There is a way maker. There is a miracle worker in our corner and even if our victory don't come yet it is coming because of the God that we serve so we glorify God because he's still good today I encourage and inspire someone that in spite of the challenges in spite of the distractions in spite of the circumstances it is quite okay to worship God and that is why we are positioned where we are understand that the Word of God teaches us that God has given us various abilities to further the work that he has for you and understand today if you have an ability to sing then sing for Jesus Amen. one thing I love about Mikey if you ask him for sing he might go sing Amen. if your ability is to help then help for the glory and honor of God if your ability is to cook then cook for Jesus if your ability is to take care of the needs of others then take care of the needs of others if your ability is in the health field then take care sister Lori of those who come into your spirit God has positioned you with abilities for service for him and by doing so you are fulfilling the mandate that God has for you positioned with a purpose for Jesus it is no secret what my God can do. What my God can do. Amen. Amen. We want to glorify God for these individuals that have pressed to the altar, indicating that God, I want you to position me for a purpose. Amen. You must cry. 